Hey everyone, it's Erin. Um, I am doing an update because it's very long overdue. Uh, let's see, there are a few things that I want to talk about. Uh, I guess I can give you my stats. I don't normally weigh myself on Thursdays, but I was feeling especially light this morning and I weighed myself and I was down to 243. Um, I think the last time I did a video I was 249, so I am down six pounds since my last video, um, and I am down two pounds since this past Saturday, because when I weighed myself on Saturday, I was 245. Um, so this means I am only 18 pounds away from 100, lost forever. Uh, so that's absolutely remarkable and wonderful and crazy. Um, so pretty exciting. My six month surge anniversary is September 30th. So the closer to 100 that I get, the more awesome that would be. Um, so uh, I found myself with uh, some struggles uh, this past weekend. Um, it was a long weekend for uh, us here in the States. We had a holiday and I had taken an additional day off last week. Um, I was looking forward to it. Unfortunately, uh, though, I think Saturday, my oldest daughter contacted me and informed me that one of her very close friends had been killed in a car accident. Um, so, and this isn't the first time that she has lost a close friend. This is the second time in three years. So, you know, it's been pretty awful. Uh, so I struggled this week, this past weekend. Um, I, I guess I, I, what I struggled with was, um, wanting to do a lot of emotional eating. Um, I did do a little bit on Sunday. Um, I went a little crazy with my, like, my favorite snack is uh, Annie's Organic Bunny Grams. They're super good and they're not horrible for you. Um, but Saturday I bought a box and it was gone by the end of the day. And I think that was like a total, the box has this probably between seven and 800 calories in it. Um, and then, you know, I saw the error of my ways, uh, but I was still on Sunday craving like sugar and that emotional need to kind of just feel satisfied. And um, I allowed myself to get a York peppermint patty. And granted, it's not the best thing for you. Um, the sugars, I think there's like 25 grams of sugar in one and no fat uh, and 140 calories total. I allowed myself one of those and it took me about an hour to eat it. Uh, and I didn't get sick, but that was it. And I was very conscious with what I ate, you know, that day and the rest of the day. And I've been really good um, since Sunday, but it, it is so, difficult having to work through your emotions and not stuff them with food. Um, I haven't felt this kind of stress or this just profound sadness post-op. I mean, fortunately, I guess, you know, I'm glad things have gone smoothly and, you know, emotionally my life has been pretty even keeled. Um, but it's like it, it, something like this it's it's been tough and having to feel the feelings and work through them and process them is is harder than kind of just ignoring them and just eating to feel satisfied and feel full um so I, you know I, I've struggled with that and I could have, even, I was talking to my kids about it, you know, talking, that processing, I think, you know, that's one thing that I usually am pretty good at, um, but obviously, you know, if I would pre-op, I was stuffing my feelings and stuffing my emotions, 
I wasn't perfect at it. Um, and even my kids had made a comment, yeah, you really would do a lot of emotional eating, Mom. So uh, I guess I, I never realized how bad it was. Uh, but yeah, so it, it's been a struggle. Um, I would love to hear anybody's thoughts, feelings, uh, tips on what you guys do when you're really kind of faced with difficult times and difficult emotions and what works for you. I, I hadn't exercised all weekend either. I had totally slacked. I wasn't in the mood and you know I kind of allowed myself those days but I got back on it yesterday and you know I felt so much better and it was like I felt I was dripping sweat and it's like it felt like such a release and I'm like you know I, I got to keep doing this so you know I'm back on track but I wanted to share my struggles and I wanted to get other people's thoughts and feelings and tips um, how do you deal with not stuffing your emotions and feeding your emotions and um, what have you found works and helps because uh, I think you know post-op we need to think about these things because life doesn't go along perfectly things get thrown up and tragedies happen um, so I would love to hear from you guys um, sorry I've been a slacker um, Hope everybody's well, and I look forward to hearing your feedback, and I will hopefully make a video within the next week or so. Um, I will definitely keep you posted because I would love to hit, you know, 239. That would be a huge milestone for me. So, all right, everybody, take care. Talk to you soon.